Okay, so this equation may look a little complicated or intimidating or advanced for some of you out there, but actually, this is very easy to solve with just basic algebra. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and take a look at the equation. We have e to the 3x is equal to e to the 7x minus 2, and what we want to do here is solve for x. All right, so if you can figure this out, well, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's go to take one more look at the problem before I show you the answer. So e to the 3x is equal to e to the 7x minus 2. Now, some of you may not be familiar with this uh, e, okay? What is this e business about? Well, E is something called the natural base E, okay? This is an extremely important uh, value in mathematics. Matter of fact, uh, it's somewhere around, if my memory serves me correct, somewhere around 2.718. Of course, you can pull this up on your calculator, but uh, it is a constant value, very much like pi, okay? Pi is approximately equal to 3.14, so we have a symbol for this uh, long irrational number. Same thing here, the natural base E, Again, it's around 2.718, but an extremely important value in mathematics. But uh, that's going to be kind of irrelevant in terms of how we are going to solve this problem. And you'll see what I'm going to be talking about in just one second. All right, let's go to take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is x is equal to 1 half. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+. Plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in solving basic exponential equations. And that's what we're talking about here. This is something called an exponential equation because the exponent, okay, uh, the variable is an exponent location. That's what I meant to say. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into the solution right now. Okay, so here is our problem. We have e to the 3x is equal to e to the 7x minus 2. Now, at first glance, again, this could be, uh, you know, very intimidating, especially if you've never studied how to solve exponential equations. So, uh, in general, when you learn about exponential equations, i.e. solving for uh, the variable in the exponent spot, you learn something called logarithms, okay? Now, logarithms, if you're not uh, familiar with logarithms, they have something to do with this button on your uh, scientific calculator, the LOG or the LN. Now, I'm not going to get into, uh, you know, logarithms too deep in this uh, um, uh, particular video because this is a huge topic, and generally it's taught like at the Algebra 2, second-year algebra, college algebra, pre-calculus level of mathematics. But you don't need to, um, you know, really... Uh, understand logarithms to figure out how to solve this problem. Now, why is that? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so we have e, okay, to the 3x power is equal to e to the 7x minus 2 power. But let's kind of think about it in this way. e to something, okay, which of course is 3x, is equal to e to something else, all right? Now, how could this be true, all right? We're saying that e to some power, or get some exponent, is going to be equal to e to some other exponent. Well, the only way that the left-hand side can equal the right-hand side, the only way these can be the same value here, if they have the same base, well, then the exponents must be the same. Okay, so in other words, if I have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the third, and if I make this little statement right here, well, x must be equal to 3, because I'm saying that 2x is equal to 2 to the third power, so x must be equal to 3. So in this case, uh, recognizing that we have the same basis here, well, 3x must be equal to 7x minus 2. 
All right, so at this point, we could just come up with a simple equation, 3x is equal to 7x minus 2, and use some basic algebra to solve for x. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, how to solve this basic linear equation. And if you're not quite sure what to do here, well, uh, I have plenty of kind of resources that you can check out. First, you may want to check out my full main math courses. I'll leave links to those in the description of this video. But uh, if you are at the level where you are actually studying about uh, exponential equations, things like this, well, you probably want to check out my Algebra 2 and or pre-calculus courses. Okay, that's where we really get into it. But if you need help with the basic algebra stuff, well, then you may want to check out like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course or my Math Skill Rebuilder course. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, solve for x. We have 3x is equal to 7x minus 2. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so 3x is equal to 7x minus 2. First, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 7x from both sides of the equation. Remember, I'm going to get all my variables to the left. And I want to do that and adding down in a column manner. 3x uh, minus 7x is negative 4x. And the 7x's go away. Negative 2 plus nothing is negative 2. So now all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And of course, you can see that work right here. So x is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 4, which is a positive 1 half. All right, so this is by far the most direct approach. And again, even if you um, were looking at this uh, exponential equation, you're saying, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I never learned this kind of math. Well, oftentimes, you can kind of reason through a problem. And typically, uh, you know, problems like this sh show up at even the basic algebra level because you want to kind of see if you can use, you know, I don't want to say common sense, but if you can kind of think through uh, logically what the problem is telling you. Okay, so sometimes, uh, you know, students or people will look at a test question and they'll be intimidated by the notation or, or something else. Try to look past that and think about the problem kind of from a big picture standpoint. All right, so I'm going to show you how you could use a little bit more advanced technique uh, to solve this equation, but really it's pretty much the same thing. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you to quickly hit that subscribe button. I definitely need your help. I'm trying to grow my YouTube uh, channel uh, for one simple reason. I'm trying to reach as many people uh, that need help in mathematics. Now, again, if you need uh, more help beyond this video, and if you like my teaching style, then you're going to really enjoy my full uh, courses, which are quite a bit, um, well, I don't want to say, uh, you know, it's still me teaching in my courses, but I take a more kind of in-depth, comprehensive approach. And the key to really mastering math is to get a great full instructional lessons, uh, taking notes, obviously, and then doing a wide variety of practice problems. That's what you really need in order to uh, master mathematics. So if you want to check out my full courses, you know where to find them. But also I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel and I'm posting pretty much every day. So if you hit that notification bell, you can, uh, you can kind of uh, see my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Of course, we already know the answer and the easiest way to solve this problem. But uh, let's take a look at um, how, in general, you solve a lot of exponential equations in math. Now, this particular exponential equation is very easy because obviously we have the same basis here, but I could, uh, you know, put all kinds of twists on this problem um, uh, where we couldn't just make this, you know, you know, uh, so easy where we can just um, basically equate the exponents. So what you typically do when you're solving exponential equations, now this is a real general kind of, um, you know, uh, overview, right? I'm definitely not giving you a full lesson on this, but typically what you need to do is take the log of both sides. Now, when you're dealing with natural base E, okay, there's two buttons that you use, again, on your calculator, L-O-G and L-N. Now, L-O-G is what we call the common log, common logarithm, it's log base 10, and L-N is the natural logarithm, it's uh, log base E. But effectively, when you are solving equations, exponential equations that involve E, you're going to use ln. And I'm going to show you why here in a second. All right, so here you would take the ln of both sides, okay, or the log of both sides, but in this case, we're taking ln. Now, when we do this, we can use a property of logarithms that basically allows us to take the exponent and put it right in front of the ln, okay, or the ln e. So we're going to take the 7x minus 2, on this side, 
and put it in front of this ln e, and the 3x and put it in front of this ln e. And again, this is a property of logarithms. So we have uh, 3x, is e, 3x times ln e is equal to 7x minus 2 times ln e. All right, so you don't even need to go into your calculator, but if you wanted to, you could just take out the ln of e. Okay, you just basically type it into your calculator, and you're going to see that that is simply a 1. So ln of e is 1, and uh, basically what we're left with is 3x is equal to 7x minus 2, pretty much the same equation we just solved. All right, but again, you know, when you're solving exponential equations that are um, more involved than the one that we're looking at, uh, you definitely need to understand logarithms and uh, natural base e or natural logarithms are a big, big part of a lot of areas of not only mathematics, but science as well. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.